Belton Super Training TV, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. This message is brought to you by BSN. We had just an awesome squat session on this day. I saw a lot of PRs. I think we had about five PRs. I myself got one. Chris Ramos uh, ended up getting two squat PRs. Uh, Silent Mike ended up getting two squat PRs. Robot got a PR. And Big David, I think, ended up getting a PR as well. And Mr. Robot Pan, so I don't know if that's five or six, but uh, whatever the case is, there was a lot of PRs going on. People PR'd all over the place. Easy, strong squat there by Chris. Chris likes to fall. He likes to stumble on his squats, make it look more dramatic. There's Tristan E. Scholl, Tristan Eugene. Here's our version of the ant, Ryan Spencer. Undersized, but has tons of power. And here is Jesse Megamind Burdick, who actually, after this training session, joined me on my new podcast called Mark Bell's Powercast. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, that'll be available on iTunes as well as supertraining.tv, so look for that uh, coming up. should be posted up um, within the next couple days. Uh, a lot of us are just working on a raw squat. For me, I'm just working on my raw strength in general. It's kind of always sucked. I've always been able to bench press, probably bench press around 405, um, or did bench 405 in high school as a kid, um, but probably can only squat about the same. And so uh, in uh, turning to powerlifting and eventually becoming a geared lifter, um, lifting in or lifting raw was not a huge focus and especially in the squat I kind of developed uh, some injuries through the hip and groin and just always thought it was better to play it safe and wear my gear uh, so it didn't really develop a ton of uh, raw strength and so now that's what I'm working on that's the focus looking to do a raw meet in March Silent Mike's best squat with this weight before is two reps but look at him continue to go here he just as he uh, works his way towards five reps with 505 pounds um, Silent Mike uh, is uh, uh, about 200 pounds, about 205 pounds or so, and he competes um, at 198 pounds. And uh, so that's, uh, he's moving some really good weight right there. He's making a lot of progress. Uh, so he gets a rep record PR. Preston Scholl always moving fast. <clears throat> this is always a good group. Preston, um, Ryan Spencer, and Greg Buffington, um, they tend to work together quite a bit. <clears throat> and uh, they always have good training sessions. They like to pretty much work out. Um, when they do their box squats, they do dynamic work. They like to work out fast, have a pretty good pace. You know, keep it to a small group, four to five people at the most. Here's Ramos annihilating some squats. Um, but back to uh, the reps that Mike was doing. Um, it's important for those of you out there that want to build strength to not only go for single rep maxes, but to also um, get uh, get some rep records in there. Keep in mind, guys like Ed Cohn used sets of five and sets of six for years um, to, uh, to really build strength. Uh, Ed kind of calls it building a foundation. And he liked building a foundation of strength after every single... Uh, after every single meet that he did. So running into a powerlifting meet, he would do a lot of singles, a lot of doubles. He'd wear powerlifting gear and so on. Um, but when he was not about to do a powerlifting meet, um, he would focus in on uh, sets of five raw, sets of six raw, uh, things like that to build real world strength um, without the assistance of the gear. Then he'd put the gear on and he'd be, be that much stronger. For myself um, and my geared lifting, I didn't find that to be true. Look at that face by David. Wow, that's terrifying. Looks like he took it right in a rectum. Rectum damn near killed him, perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, I don't remember what I was saying. But Tristan Scholl, um, I think he ends up working up to a weight that's around 700 pounds or so with that safety bar. And plus the chains, about 800 pounds at the top. That was about 555. Not quite sure how much Ramos has on here. Maybe 565 or so. <sighs> but he just smoked that weight. That was nothing. 
chump change. Tristan Scholl is kind of the gym fluffer. Goes around, fluffs everybody up, gets everybody excited. A robot ended up hitting a 535 pound squat. That might have been it right there. You're gonna see a, a big old squat, big old fat squat by Chris Ramos coming up here in a minute. Jesse Burdick starting to load up the bar a little bit. Looks like he's got about 700 pounds on there. Give or take hundreds of pounds, I'm not sure. Kind of hard to count it sometimes with those rogue plates on there, 55 pounds each. Just makes it more complicated. Then the Iron Wolf bar weighs like nine billion pounds too. And then you're really scratching your head trying to figure out how the hell you, you add any of that shit up. <clears throat> this is 600 pounds, my first uh, 600 pound squat at this new handsome and stealth body weight. Um, <clears throat> felt pretty good, moved fast, as you saw there. I just gotta keep working. The goal is to, uh, next time out, do 625. Time after that, do 650. And just keep uh, trying to make progress. I could use a little bit more volume in my squat training as I've been kind of focusing in on singles. So I'll have to do what we just said. I'll have to uh, start to go back and, and work on some reps, build that strength up. Here comes a big old strong squat by Tristan Scholl. Weights are starting to get a little heavy. See him slowing down a little bit. Still able to plow through it pretty good. The chains help to accommodate resistance. More weight at the top. Uh, the weights are uh, heavier at the top, lighter at the bottom. Here goes Mikey decided to go for a single rep PR as well. A PR PR. So you got two PRs in the same day, a rep PR, and then he hit 525 right there, or 535. I uh, can't quite remember what the weight was. Jesse Burdick ch chucking on some more weight there. Not on his body, but on the bar. This is some of our, uh, got a couple new guys in the gym. And uh, they've, been they've been working hard and they've been making progress as well. 645 pounds here by Torta, Chris Ramos. And he just pretty much annihilated that. That's embarrassing. Because he only weighs 210 pounds and I can't keep up with him. So I'm just gonna have to shoot myself in the face. Here's David, you can see there's a lot of slack in the arms there. He's gonna have to figure out a way to get that tighter. He's got the bar pretty high, the knees are coming forward a lot. He's on the instep of his feet. Um, just a lot of weird shit going on right there. He did still finish the day with a 765 pound squat. 675 here by Chris Ramos. This has got to be the lift of the week. Uh, just uh, the official word there is I, I didn't end up hitting him, but I wanted to. I wanted to bump him up. It does look like it. Uh, if I did uh, touch him, I can assure you I didn't assist him at all. Here's a pretty good strong squat by David, a little bit better form. And that is it from supertraining.tv.